okay hello guys I welcome you to the channel infotronics PTE and in this video I'm going to discuss a small concept uh, which is about uh, grid layout the layout managers uh, and the geometry class managers and in this man uh, in this video we're going to discuss the geometry class manager or the layout manager which is grid and uh, with the help of this layout uh, we're going to create an application under a Kiwi uh, package or uh, the Kiwi uh, module so in the last video we use uh, pandas and uh, we use uh, pack as in layout manager or the geometry class master class uh, managers but in this uh, video we're going to uh, discuss another manager but obviously with another package and uh, let's create a simple application which is the sales agent login application whenever an, a sales agent uh, wanna uh, enter uh, into his or her actually login uh, detail so obviously we must have uh, the software we must have uh, th that link on the website as well so that he or she can enter into the uh, into the into the uh, software and can continue his or her uh, daily work so uh what how are we going to start it and uh, with the help of this concept it, it may help us to use it uh, further and obviously you um, we the purpose of this is to apply the different packages and at the end when we have the uh, when obviously we can uh, use different packages and different layouts uh, alternatively for our, uh, for our ease and also according to the requirement and also uh, according to that specific uh, usage so from uh, kiwi.app import app it's uh, required that the base class of your app inherits from the app class it's present in the uh, kiwi uh, installation directory kiwi app and also it has been there as well you can install from there from kiwi.uix grid layout import grid layout obviously you're using the grid layout it is present in the uix you have to take uh, normally uix holds uh, different elements like uh, grid uh, uh, like uh, widgets and also like labels and also different elements like text that is why we have to use uix and we have to import the uh, grid layout and uh, from that we have to use uh, different uh, elements together just to bind them using uix so that is why we are using it and we have initially installed kiwi and uh, by pip install uh, kiwi uh, uh, command line in a command prompt so you can install first of all and then later on use that way class login screen grid layout and obviously you can name any uh, name instead of login screen obviously we are using the login details of our agents uh, for just so that they can enter into uh, the system but with the help of uh, the specified name obviously it may help uh, to uh, uh, just create a class with obviously the grid layout in the class login screen we override the method in it so as to add widgets and to define their behavior that is why uh, by this name obviously we are overriding the method in it so that we can add widgets the children of grid layout in other words and to define their behavior we ask the grid layout to manage its children in two columns and add a label and a text input for the username and password obviously that is a requirement for any system when uh, when you want to enter when we have an account with that Geometry layout managers, uh, just to def uh, tell you that there are different uh, type of layout managers. The ge geometry layout managers include float layout, box layout, grid layout, stack layout, relative layout, anchor layout, and pack and place as well. We have already discussed pack. We're go we going to discuss uh, uh, the grid in this video and probably we're going to use a different layout managers with different packages in our coming videos as well one should not forget to call super in order to implement the functionality of the origin class uh, class being overloaded also note that it is a good practice not to omit the kw arguments uh, while calling super as they are sometimes used internally that is why we have to uh, use it and defining in itself uh, into kw arguments closing it by colon make sure we aren't override any uh, overriding any important functionality okay 
so uh, that's why we have to use super with login screen self dot in it uh, and with the uh, in it uh, well, what we are in it in it in is it is with the kw arguments let's add a widget children to this layout okay with the self dot columns is equal to two and uh, self dot add widget is equal to label the number of columns are two and uh, add widget as label text username and uh, i have given the size hint as well obviously the text is with the with the username under the label so label is uh, obviously uh, on by the name itself described that it is used for titles so the title with the text is username and i have actually put in as the hint as well the size of that would be one into one okay and uh, the position would be center with the x-axis at two and the y-axis at two you can actually change uh, these uh, positions these sizes and you can uh, see what will be the display i have actually already done it but uh, for the ease of uh, the you can say the display i have used this you may use any other uh, actually uh, hints or so that it according to your use and this label will be the root widget of this app okay as uh, we have discussed in the last video the concept of a root why we normally use root as it forms the basis initiating point instantiation uh, 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 actually initiating point of the app that is why this is from uh, this call this label will be the root widget of this app and uh, self dot username okay adding the widget in the first column starting from left to right and username is uh, just putting uh, and also we have to uh, put the text against this username always multi line is true and then again creating an other widget and uh, which uh, which is uh, the uh, self dot username and uh, so obviously we have to call it uh, as well so self dot username is call in as defined in as defined defined in, in it so it is normally the same so self dot add widget is equal to label text with pin size size hint is uh, for dot five dot five and uh, position just getting the hints as centers as 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 self dot password and uh, putting it the text input okay just uh, putting the uh, I may use it uh, instead of uh, pen. Why not to use it? Because I have created the pen, so I have to use it pen. Okay, so you have to. Add pen as well. So just adding uh, the text input and. Uh, pin uh, normally pin is not is not suitable because we are using the text input but nevertheless if the pin is in text you can actually say it as in as in as in text but normally it is the combination password is also a combination of uh, text and integers that is why i haven't used by a password either so most of the cases the for the uh, for uh, this for the purpose of the stre strength of a password i believe that has to be a combination of uh, letters normally it is the requirement of letters combination of letters numbers and uh, special characters and uh, all the stuff together that is why i may actually customize uh, it uh, later on but probably just for the sake of running a basic program under the concept of uh, layout manager which is grid and under the concept of kiwi i might actually continue with the same uh, basic concept later in our videos uh, especially um, according to the requirement as well uh, probably but uh, just for the sake of uh, ease and uh, i have to, i may continue with this uh, same pen and uh, name and a class sales agent okay and uh, which is uh, the name of the app sub uh, sub classing the app class okay that is why this is where we are defining the base class of our kiwi app this is where we are defining the base class of our kiwi app this is obviously normally as as in as in starting point of the sales uh, agent uh, the app has, needs to be start from there so that is why the sales it is a name the title name of the app and you should uh, only ever need to change the name of your app of your app okay which is the sales agent app and i believe this has to be 
sales sales agent app in this line and defining a build self implementing its build method so it returns the widget instance the root of your widget tree implementing its build method so, uh, so it returns the widget instance which is obviously the root of your widget tree and which is in case is uh, the label as well and uh, you may call it at the login screen as well okay so which is obviously the root of our widget uh, tree the uh, the root of uh, the app is obviously the label but the root of hold together uh, the uh, by, by call by implementing the build method we returning a widget instance okay so returning as a login screen if uh, name is equal to main sales it just uh, instantiate uh, what uh, instant creating this class and calling its run method okay so we just have to run it and let's see if no try resizing uh, the window and you will see that the widgets on screen adjust themselves according to the size of the window i have told you i've used this actually hints as per my ease and you can change accordingly if you see that it fits better to your requirement so I believe these are the prerequisite. I just give you a recap. The recap is just to import the app because we have to use app imported uh, for Kiwi purposes and uh, giving it dot app. Okay. And afterwards, uh, uh, from UIX, we have to import grid layout. We have to import label and text input according to the same using the same uh, syntax that is uh, the standard. We cannot change it. You have to use the same standard. But class login screen, you can change the, the name as per you. But obviously under the grid layout, I have discussed all the details in front of you, defining in it self and giving it against the KW arguments just uh, to make sure we aren't overriding any important functionality it is obviously uh, the uh, in it uh, in it a uh, function uh, defined function so we are not overriding any functionality so we are actually creating what so that is why we are using super login screen self dot in it with kw arguments let's add a widget obviously the children to this layout and uh, creating the buttons with uh, with the title names with the label and also the text against those labels against those uh, title buttons and hopefully we'll able to actually run a simple program with the login details of our agents the sale agents with their is usernames and also their pin or the passwords so defining it again and uh, uh, the name class uh, sales agent which is a subclassing the app okay that is the starting point but obviously it is a, we have it and it has to be the subclass we have subclassing the app uh, class that is why it is after uh, what we can say the layout structure so this is where, where we are defining the base class of our kiwi uh, app so you should only ever need to change the name of your app say in this line so implementing its built in methods so to return a widget instance the root of your widget tree okay so returning it well obviously what is the uh, why we have used the build okay because what we have built under the uh, under grid layout is uh, with the name login screen so just to return uh, what we have actually uh, done uh, all together for the gray layout for the login screen so we have to define this built uh, with the uh, built function obviously uh, defining as itself so uh, or with the argument self so that is why we are using this build keep in mind we have uh, to uh, implement or we have uh, to uh, actually get all the details from our uh, grid layout with the name login screen so that is why we have we are what we have built for this app for 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 uh, or normally what we have built uh, 
what we have built as in uh, widgets or as in children under the grid layout we have to call it so that is why if name is equal uh, to main and okay sales agent just running it just under the condition okay so uh, this is how we going uh, to use it so i believe it's all in this video discuss what is this basic uh, <coughs> app on uh, we may come across with some different obviously business uh, industry relevant concept and uh, this is one of uh, the basic i believe industry requirement <coughs> in any department in uh, any area of uh, operations normally when we come across in running any activity or running businesses at any level so i believe this may help you to actually get an understanding uh, with the with the help of this uh, layout and with the help of tv and obviously keeping in mind the last video so what we are helping you guys is uh, developing and producing uh, the videos according to the industry requirement and standards and uh, meeting it uh, on uh, on a full fledged level and also just connecting uh, with the more complex scenarios and more complex situations so that obviously um, you are get what you are interested in as in uh, service and also as an customer so we believe uh, that we are in a position to provide those services and uh, i just uh, at the end uh, going to uh, thank all my uh, support uh, which includes obviously my family and also my parents who are actually and uh, are very very cooperative and uh, in, in in every sense and uh, that's why that they, they, they are the guys are the strength and uh, hopefully to meet their uh, expectations as well with the help of actually providing the absolutely uh, sound and international uh, level services so hope to see you with some another interesting video so keep me in your prayers and uh, and when my family obviously i'll uh, be expecting uh, the prayers and thank you very much take care and have a nice day